Haldor Topso is a Danish catalysis company founded in 1940 by Dr. Haldor Topso The company has over 2,700 employees all over the world, of which 2,100 work in Denmark. Haldor Topso specializes in the production of heterogeneous catalysts and the design of process plants based on catalytic processes. Focus areas include the fertilizer industry, chemical and petrochemical industries, and the energy sector refineries and power plants. Haldor Topso A.S. is one of the world's leading companies within the field of heterogeneous catalysis, and over 50% of the ammonia used for fertilizer on a worldwide scale is made with the help of technology from Haldor Topso. The headquarters and main research labs are located in Lingby, a northern suburb of Copenhagen, Denmark. Manufacturing of catalysts is carried out in Frederiksund, Denmark, and in Houston, Texas. The company has offices in Bahrain, Canada, China, India, Malaysia, Russia, Argentina, Iran, and the USA. Haldor Topso's catalysts and technologies are used to clean oil and ensure more environmentally friendly fuels, for cleaning power industry flue gases, for converting hydrocarbon feedstocks such as natural gas and LPG into ammonia, hydrogen and methanol, and for reducing emission from heavy-duty vehicles. In chemical plants catalysts and processes optimize resources, ensuring highly efficient energy processes. The company frequently collaborates with the Technical University of Denmark and its research has been regularly published in scientific journals. The founder, Haldor Topso, died on May 20, 2013 after a short illness, just four days before his 100th birthday. He was the chairman of the company from its founding until his death. Jeppe Christensen is now chairman of the board while Björn S. Clausen is president and CEO. History Haldor Topso A.S. was founded in 1940 by Dr. Haldor Topso During World War II, the company got permission to use the labs at the Polytechnic Educational Establishment, and in 1943 they moved to facilities in Hellerup, north of Copenhagen. The move meant that the company was now able to expand its field of work because of the access to additional equipment. During the war, Topso worked as a consultancy company for several Swedish companies. The contact to Sweden was primarily arranged by the so-called Wallenberg Group. In 1944 Topso produced the first small batch of sulfuric acid catalysts. Another company success came in 1948 when the development of the first nickel catalyst was finalized. That same year, Topso began cooperating with Vargens AB in Vargen, Sweden with the aim of producing a catalyst for ammonia synthesis. Shortly after the war had come to an end, Topso became engaged in various activities in Mexico, activities that were connected to Topso's financial contacts in the U.S., including the World Bank. This led to the company's involvement in the planning of Mexico's technical development as well as in the American agronomist Norman Borlaug's experiment with wheat in the Sonora region of northern Mexico. In the years following 1950, Topso renewed its contacts with the research environment of the Soviet Union, and maintained close contact for several years with both the scientific environment and organizations involved with engineering within the field of catalysis. 
In 1955, Topso established the French subsidiary Haldor Topso SA and opened an office in Paris. Throughout the years, Topso was involved in many industrial activities, some privately and some publicly governed, and built several industrial plants. One of the bigger projects, in which Topso was involved, was the construction of a heavy water plant in northern France. In 1958, Topso bought the estate Linderupgard, situated outside Frederiksund, and the estate has been used for production of catalysts ever since. Topso opened a department in New York in 1961, called Haldor Topso Inc., and four years later the company furthermore bought a lot in Houston, Texas that is now being used for one of Topso's production plants. In 1971 the office was moved from New York to Houston as well. In the years 1971–1971, Topso established several big ammonia plants around the world. In 1972 the ownership of Topso changed from being a privately owned company to being a public limited company, owned 50-50 by both Haldor Topso and the Italian company Snamprogetti. In 1973, the Topso headquarters moved from Tassoborg from Vedbach, where it has been situated since 1964. Just a year later in 1974, Topso moved the headquarters to its present location in Ravnum. In the beginning of the 1980s, Topso opened two offices in Asia, one in Delhi and one in Beijing. In the beginning of the 1990s to the mid-90s, Topso opened its two offices in Moscow and Yaroslavl in Russia, as well as a department in Los Angeles. In 1999, Topso bought a new transmission electron microscope and thereby became the first company in the world that was able to see details down to 1.2 angstrom. In 2007, Haldor Topso bought back all the shares from the Italian contracting company Sipem, which had bought Snamprogetti for 2.6 billion Danish kroner. That same year, Haldor Topso's subsidiary, Topso Fuel Cell, initiated the construction of Denmark's first fuel cell production plant that produces high-temperature solid oxide fuel cells also known as SOFC for environmentally friendly, green electricity and heat for trucks, houses, hospitals and supermarkets. <laughs> 